What's poppin' T-Subs and T-Squad? So y'all check this out. Tonight's episode was tad delayed and through. It was boring. Um, not much of anything happened at all. But um, I just wanted to come up here and give y'all something just so that I can say that I fulfilled my contractual duties or whatever. But I mean, it was OK, but it really didn't give much, in my opinion. I don't know how y'all feel. Don't care. For me, yeah. But um, this was episode 11. So um, Jackie and uh, Ghetto Fag Compton go out to an antique shop. And she, Ghetto Fag Projetic, tells her what happened down to um, Jen's wig party or whatever. At the same time, Jennifer um, goes around there to Angel's um, costume fashion sweatshop. Um, I guess to go and talk to her and, you know, catch up on her and see how she's doing and to be nosing and get the damn tea on what happened. So, you know, Angel talks about how uh, Ghetto Fat Compton is shady. And then Jen says that that's Ghetto Fat Compton's M.O. Um, you know, bringing plus ones that are very questionable around the group or whatever. And then that's when Angel asks Jen about Jelani. At this point, y'all, I really don't care. Um, it doesn't happen. It's over with. According to Scotty, I watched this, uh, yes, for the mess. And according to him, the girl, what's the girl name? Ashley, I believe the girl name is. She basically came out and said that she told Ghetto Fat Compton about her being with Tariq um, during that scene where they at first initially met up down to the damn place or whatever the case may be so i mean in that aspect and in that regards i believe that girl i don't believe laquiqui at this point so at the end of the day it is what it is you are messy and that's just that um we'll get to jen and jelani in a second so brooke is having a mind body and soul picnic um for the ladies because she's about to start ivf soon and um British comes and she says that she doesn't feel like she went too hard on ghetto fat Compton, but she do want to give her a chance to say what she got to say. Listen, at first British, I thought she was going way too hard, way too strong too soon. But like I said, after what I learned from Scotty's uh, thing or whatever the case may be, girl, fuck that bitch. Moving on. Um, So Jackie asks what happened with Ghetto Fat Compton down to Jen's party. And Jen chimes in and says that she feels like Ghetto Fat, Ghetto Fat Compton brings problematic guests, guests around the group. And at this point, she feels like it's intentional. Uh, I, I mean, look, at, at, at this point, y'all, I just really don't care. <laughs> Just being completely honest with you guys, I really just do not care. I, I really could care less a, a, about the whole Angel Brinks and Ashley thing. Like at this point, it is what it is. They're, they got together once Angel and Tyreek wasn't even together. So it shouldn't even be a problem in the, in the first damn place for me to even care in the second damn place. This shouldn't be a storyline in the third damn place. So it is what it is in the fourth damn place. I, I just didn't care. I just don't care. So then Brandy tells Jackie that she's glad that she's at least being the friend to Ghetto Fat Compton that she wish she could be for her, but she can't. I was with Brandy on that. Obviously, um, you know, she's going through some things, so she say, and she needs somebody to be there for. Her. And, you know, I'm not mad at her for saying, look, for you being there for her when I came, I appreciate that. I see it. I appreciate it. And I appreciated that moment. So British get a phone call and then she goes off and then she leaves. We already know what that's about. That's about her and this IRS thing that she got going on. And I'm not going to kick that girl while she down. I, I could, but I'm not. Um, so then the ladies do their little sound bath um, for this 
thing I'm a barber that Brooke ass got going on. And at this point, I really don't give a shit about Brooke either because I just really don't think her husband is so gone ho for this IVF thing the way she's trying to make it seem like he is. And we're going to get to that in a second. So Jackie, Jen, Brandy, and Duffy hang out. So they ask Jen how things are with Jelani. And then Jackie invites the ladies to a girl's trip. I think she said for like four or six days or something like that to go out to research for this new road that she got. And she claimed that they're going to be staying in some four and a half star accommodations and all that stuff. So y'all was a fool for even believing Jack Attack and her foolishness in the very beginning. The only way I would have went is had she told me and gave me proof of where the hell we was going. Anyway, uh, so Angel and Pop Star at home, and then she tells him about the trip that Jackie invited her on, and both of them came to the common conclusion that she don't need to go. All right, she's already in a high-risk pregnancy, and her high-risk pregnant ass just need to stay with her damn butch queen down to the house. I was for it. Um... So British meets up with uh, one of the fine ass producers or whatever. I don't know his name, but he was fine. Y'all find out that fine ass nigga ain't funny. And um, lets him know about what's going on with her and the IRS and the warrant that's out for her. And that she now has to fly her ass to St. Louis to turn herself in to face them charges. I'm just going to leave it at that. Because everybody innocent until proven guilty. Was she proven guilty? I don't think we got in there yet. I don't know. I want to find out. Y'all let me know. So Jen and Jelani did go out for their lunch date. And at first, I really didn't care. But what made me care was when Jen opened up about her marriage to Eric. Y'all know the nigga with the keloid on his forehead that's married to some white woman now. Um, Yeah, I saw that too. Y'all, somebody could tell me I saw it. And he looked terrible. You know, he was already an ugly ass man from the very beginning. But he just look worse now, child, um, with that patchy, dry ass hair. Get it together. Any, I don't know whose is worse, yours or Macy Gray's. Any, <laughs> moving on. Uh, Lord, I don't went off on a tangent. What was I? What was I talking about? Oh yeah. What made me care was when she opened up about why she got married to that ugly ass nigga in the first damn place. Um, Jen, listen. I don't think it had nothing to do with your parents getting a divorce. What I think it had to do with was the fact that he was Eric Williams that was playing for the Boston Celtics and he just looked good being your husband. That's really what I think it was because you would have never gotten with that ugly ass man with that big ass mosquito, that permanent mosquito bite on his damn forehead if it was not for the fact that he played for my favorite team and he was making millions. Girl, stop it. Especially with like, and we see this all the time with this show and, and shows like Real Housewives and shows like Married to Medicine. Like, come on, look at Eugene. Like, let's just be clear. No shade, but come on now. Like, y'all, y- you get what I mean. And I could name some other people, but I'm not. But I did appreciate that moment from Jen. I appreciated that level of transparency of what it was from Jen. And it made me not think that Jelani is fake. You know, seeing that and seeing Jen open up made me think that, okay, maybe this is real. And, you know, she because she is opening up more and she does seem to like them. And I, 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 I'll I accept it. Like I say, I want her to be happy. I don't want her to be alone and miserable for the rest of her life because Jen is a beautiful woman. You know what I'm saying? She shouldn't be alone. She should have lines of men waiting down, down, you know, beating down her box. But moving on. So Brooke and Duffy go shopping for Jackie's trip. And then that's when Brooke's husband calls her and she tells him the news about them, about how they could start IVF right away. Listen, Brooke, I don't think that you and that man on the same page because he was not happy or excitable about it at all. He wasn't. Like the, the level of excitement you had, I expected him to have the same and he did not. And that says a lot. It says that you want it way more than he does. And and it, maybe to him, he probably feel like he done raised his kids already. And so did you. 
So it's like maybe he's at a point now where he don't really want to have kids. He just wants to enjoy his life with you. I don't know. I, I'm not right. I'm not wrong. I don't know. But um, I don't know. He don't seem gone hope for it. But y'all drop down in the comments and let me know if I'm reading too much. So Jackie surprise trip. All of the ladies show up and Brooke tells Jackie about, you know, how British isn't going to be there or don't know whether she's going to be there or not. Um, you know, because of what's going on, how she had to go to St. Louis to turn herself in and blah, 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 and yada, yada, yada. And then they drove down some damn unbeaten path, girl, some unbeaten trail child. It looked like some shit off a wrong turn or some shit off the hills have eyes or something like that. And uh, that's where it went off at. It was a to be continued. This shit bored me. All right. I was completely bored. Every time these people get ready or they leave off on a trip, it's always bored. I was bored city the entire time. Next week episode finna be some ish and I'm down for it. But this week's episode, they could have kept it. But y'all jump down in the comments. Y'all let me know what y'all thought about tonight's episode. I'm sorry, y'all, but that's all I got. I ain't got no more to give y'all. That's all I have. They got no more. And um, yeah, I'm gone. Bye.